welcome back to another ratchet packed episode of Christoph Butcher and Friends. Right, well, we all know why we're here. No, they don't know why we're here, do they, love? No. They're not buggy mind readers, are they? No. Where's my tin foil on? Uh, yeah, uh, a couple of weeks ago, Scott and Wanda did a 12 hour live stream for Great Ormond Street Hospital. Instantly, I'll put the link to the Disco Giving page in the description. And uh, there was a guy on there called Kev D. And he put a fucking a lot of money in, didn't he, love? Yes. He put a lot of money in. He challenged me and Lou, Scott Wonder, Dave and June to do a Bovril seasoned ribeye steak. Mm. And that, my brothers and sisters, is what we're... Not you. I'm just watching. You fucking lazy kid. <laughs> yeah, all right then. That's what I'm doing right now. I've only got one bovril cube, so we've got two states, we're going to do it two different ways. We're going to do a bovril cube, and we're also going to do one with the uh, bovril beef paste as well. So we're going to see which one's better. So I think, Lou, the first thing you've got to do is uh, you've got to uh, smash the fuck out of that bovril thing into the Adam and Garrett one. It's dead squashy, it won't be able squash oh, it. I'll just try it, I'll try it. What the fuck is she doing? What the fuck? Oh, it's doing something. Doing something. Uh, oh, door. I've done it. Look at Woo. that. Now, it wants to be fine. A fine pounder wolf. No, crack on, crack on. Right, we're back in a minute. So there, our, our ribeyes. Now, like I said, I've only got one bovril cube, which is there. And, uh Because I couldn't get any. Four fucking shops I went in for bovril cubes. I couldn't get any. All to be shit. Uh, and I'm going to put one in the uh, bovril beef paste. Now, Ooh, they look nice. I was going to put a bit of oil on there, but they're quite. I'm not going to bother you know. Mm. I might just smear the. Uh, I'm all I'm told not to because we're going to cut these on the hot plate. Right. And whilst I might smear a bit of oil on the hot plate, but I was told not to. But fuck it. Right, Lou, do you want to season one of them with that uh, bovril? Season? Are you going to score them a little bit? No, there's no need to because they've got they're grainy enough anyway. Have you washed my hands then? Fucking hell, mate. We're not going to be here all fucking night, love. People are now watching the camera now just looking at a fucking two steaks and a fucking cheap plastic grey tray. <laughs> well, sorry. I need to wash my hands. Right. Right, you season that one. This up, one. And I'll Will season that, that one up with the bovril paste. Yeah, right, okay. Alright. Right, you're going to be liberal, love, liberal, because you've, you've, got, you've got two fucking sides that's there, because you've only got one cube. Oh, seriously? You know that, I've told you. This is, you know what, we're going to be in a fucking while here, aren't we? rub a dub dub Bovril beef paste, look at that. Have, I, have we just destroyed two fucking perfectly good ribeye steaks here? I don't think they have, you know. It smells quite nice, that bovril. Oh, I love bovril. When well, you can fucking get it. Mm. Can't get bovril for love of money in Oldham. Apart from this stuff, which I already had. But now it's about three and a half fucking quid. It does sound like an Oldham... Uh... Oldham name, doesn't it? Bovril. Do you know what I might do with this, love? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to paint the other side of this when it's on the grill. Because otherwise, it's gonna, I'm gonna lose all that paste on the grill, on the tray, aren't I? Right, are you done, love? Are you done? It looks like you made a right fucking ball ache of that. Right. Have you, 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 no oh. garlic, I'm gutted. But it is what it is. It's a bovril seasoned ribeye steak. Now, Kev D uh, said he swears by this and he said it's absolutely fabulous. So we will find out, Kev D, if your bovril seasoned ribeye steak is to my palate. 
Uh, right, anyway. To be quite wrong. To be quite honest with you. To be you, quite wrong. Sorry, I'm losing the plot. But to be quite honest with you, you can't go wrong with ribeye steak, can you, eh? No. Right, anyway, we're running out of fucking time and daylight. Uh, right, next time you see this segment, uh, the hot plate will be down. Ooh. Well, there is the hot plate. Only a bit of oil. I was, I was told not to do it, but... Do you know what? I, d I couldn't really put oil on the steak, especially the one with the... Uh, the beef bottle beef paste on. Uh, it's only a bit, can't do any harm. This is the third time I've used it. We're gonna get our steaks now, because that is quite hot, that. Because oh, I want to get this. I want to get this down. Blue gets out of me fucking way. Right, right we got the. On the left, we're going to have the bottle beef paste. That's going down now, because I want to be able to paint that up in a minute. Ooh. And then we've got the bottle steak with the bottle stock cube. Now, let's get me nice again. I'm going to cut these for roughly about, about four minutes each side, I think. Blue likes those fucking incinerators, to be, to be honest. Four minutes? Might not be that long. I've not thought about this. All I'm doing is moving the steak around the fucking hot plate, you? <laughs> the good thing about the paste, you can keep me applying it, can't you? I've used about three and a half quid with a beef paste here. Oh, there you go. But with the powder, I would have rather scored it. You don't need to score a steak, but you're the only person on planet Earth that'll score a fucking steak when they're cooking it. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll give that a few minutes and then I will be back for the flip. Do you know what, love? Yeah. I think we're ready to flip these. Should we go for it? Oh yeah. I'm still in the wrong angle here, right? I just sat on the toe, the bastard. <laughs> Look, that's the one I've just flipped oh, there. Oh wow, that looks It's the steak with the bovril cube on it. Even that looks a bit awesome. And that's the it? beef paste. Now the beef paste one did actually stick to the, the griddle top uh, quite a bit, but, hey, it looks and tell you what, Kev D's onto something here, look, because that smells fucking fine. Fucking fine. Smells beautiful. Oh, God. So, my steaks are ready to come off. Now, Lou has put something you see there. She's got some side condiments going on, some peppers, some onions, and uh, that's it, the peppers and onions. Because at the end of the day, essentially, garlic. this is our tea. Bit of garlic. Right. Bovril on the left is the beef paste. The bovril on the right is the stock cube. Now I have to let these rest for. I'm going to have to let them rest for a few minutes anyway. Are you going to get them over there? Oh, get them in the right. steak juices, look. Definitely. If you can keep them on. If you can keep them on there, right? Anyway, we're not here for this. So when you come back, we will be uh, slicing and trying this bovril seasoned steak. Right. Bovril paste, bovril seasoning cube. Now, I'm just going to cut a few steaks off because, like, it's hard to see this. That's one for me, one for Lou. Oh, you, that's. Ooh, do you know what? That's perfect, but not. You like it a bit more well done than that, don't you, love? Oh, no, I like it like that. All right, well, that's. Right, what do you think? Get it down your gizzard, love. This is the uh, bovril beef paste. Definitely put some salt on it, eh? That is beautiful. Mm. I could taste, I could taste like the awful paste, but only slight. I was going to say the strength, but it would give it a really salty, beefy taste. Mm. Mm. Now it's just <laughs> fucking dribbled all over herself. <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, I'm looking at my hand. <laughs> Oops, no, Kev D, I'm impressed. But that's not what you told me to do. Oh, nice. It's that one you told me to do with the bottle stock cube. Which in all terms, they know it's fucking existent for some reason. What are you doing? Oh. So we'll take it off. Well, nice big slivers for me and Lou, don't we? Oh, wow. One. Two. Let's have a look inside again. That one's a bit more well, well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love you like that one. 
Okay. I bet yours is pinky. Cause it's, uh, the it's a little bit pinkier. Oh, can you see that? It's not focus. focus. There you go. Focus. Right. B stock, uh, Bob will stop cube look. Right, completely different. And taste it more with the bottle mm. stock cube. It tastes lovely. Mm. Tasty is right there. It's not for a winner, isn't it? Oh, that is superb. Yeah. Stock cube all the way. Yeah. Mmm. Tasty. It's just a shame we don't have more of it. Winner, winner, steak dinner. Mm. Thank you. What's saying that? Mm. Saying that. I've got a table. So we didn't have more of it. That one stock cube is, is enough for one steak at that size. It is. If you can hear some dribbling there, it's a fucking washing machine draining. And it's it me like, dribbling as well, uh, over at Bob, uh, Bob Rull. <laughs> for fuck's sake, we're a fucking drain washer. It's really nice, though. Mm. That is, yeah, that's definitely better. Mm. Anyway, let's get up here and finish this video. So the washing machine is still uh, Sorry. on fucking takeoff mode. It, it was taxiing before, now it's went up runway to fucking fuck off. It's doing its last spin. Mm. But yeah, uh, the Bovril stock cube is that it would, it, the yeah. taste was 10 times better, wasn't it? Yeah. It came through it went a lot stronger. You have more of that Bovril salty taste to it, as opposed to the beef's paste. I think I, I lost a lot of the beef, beef paste on the griddle, to be honest. And uh, as it was cooking, it started to stew it. Yeah. The uh, steak was still tender. It wasn't as tender as the steak on the uh, with the Bovril beef stock. No. The actual cube itself. I'd so, say yeah. Bovril beef stock cube all but, the way. Stop you. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, it was better. It was better. Ten times better. The yeah. taste was better. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, obviously, Scott and Wanda, Dave and June are doing this video as well. Yeah. Uh, I presume. I presume. Uh, the old videos. Mine and theirs will be out at exactly the same time. So once you've uh, watched this, <laughs> jump over and watch Scott's, jump over and watch Dave's. I'll leave the links in the description to the videos yep. or to the channels. And also, like I said, I'll leave a link to the the uh, Just Giving page that Scott wanted to set up for the Great Ormond Street Hospital as well. Yep. So if you can give a pound, please give a pound because it's a good cause. Because this is basically how this video and this yep. collaboration on this video came about. Yes. Uh, it costs a lot of money for Kev D. So yes, Kev D's Bob Rule Stock Seasoned Ribeye. And Easy for you to say. I'll tell you something, it was fit. It was well good. done, Kev D. Right, anyway, us know. we love that. If you like this, press like, comment, share on all your social media, and subscribe. You're a fucking like all shit, love. You're always in the fucking way. Good. <laughs> to have check TCTB. I never forgot that bit. Where we go on, tell them what. Fucking love you. Flat line of bed. You know what I mean? You have to be on that side, I have to be on this side. If you swap places, I'll be like, I'll feel uncomfortable there. I'll be swapped places in bed, I won't fucking sleep. Yeah, but we're in bed, we're the other way around. No, we're not, because we lie in bed, I'm on this side of the bed, you look at it this way. You're on that side of the chairs, and I'm on this side of the bedside cabinets. Yeah, but. TV's over there. That's, Come on. That's the opposite way around. It's fucking not. <laughs> I'm sliding here like that. Where door is there for the bedroom and fucking bedside cabinet there where your fucking annoying alarm is. You've got your fucking chair with three legs with fucking shit on it. And I'm lying yeah, there. Yeah, because you've made my bedside table. Here, lying that fucking way. Anyway. <laughs>